Inspired with Bishop Alvaro. Stay tuned. Today is day 15 of the Fast of Daniel. The program is starting in 10 minutes. Share the link facebook.com forward slash UCKG UK or libertyradio.co.uk. It is reported that the average person spends 50 minutes per day on social media, almost the same amount of time spent eating and drinking, while only 19 minutes per day are spent reading. As Christians, we are all too aware that what we see, hear and think about feeds our soul. So, what have you been seeing on Facebook lately? What have you been feeding on? Let's invest in our spiritual lives and feed our relationship with God by giving more of our time to reading spiritual books. Less face and more books. Fast of Daniel is the abstinence from all secular information such as media, entertainment, music and literature for 21 days with the aim of achieving something greater, the Holy Spirit. During the Fast of Daniel, you will develop an intimate communion with God. But before getting to know what you should do during the fast, you must understand what you should not do. Exclude all unnecessary and superficial activities from your life, the ones that divert your focus from God. Exclude mere entertainment or distractions that add nothing to you. What should you do during the fast of Daniel? Meditate on the Word of God every day. Go to the church as often as you can during these 21 days. Have your personal moments with God at home. Pray, fast, and absorb spiritual content. Visit the UCKG's website. Follow Bishop Macedo's blog. And listen to Liberty Radio. Take part in the Fast of Daniel and observe changes in your actions and reactions. Find the answer you have been looking for for so long. The Fast of Daniel, 21 days to be disconnected from the world and connected to the Spirit of God. Be inspired with Bishop Alvaro. The program is starting in seven minutes. Share the link facebook.com forward slash UCKG UK or libertyradio.co.uk. Um, I came with my mum when I was really young, but I've been coming by myself for over 10 years now. When I was young, I wasn't born into the best of families. There was a lot of problems that my mum was going through. I came here through a friend. So he actually brought me here the first time. And now he doesn't come himself, but I'm here three times a week. I've got through all of my problems by coming to the church. And that's like a court case and me coming back to the country and my health and my addictions. Well, I've been coming to the help center for quite a long time. It's been over nine years. It really helped me because I understood that the power of faith and what I needed to do. And that insecurity, that sadness went, the depression's gone. Now I feel better, I feel happier. Through coming um, to the church from a young age has helped me to build myself at the time where I needed it most. So I've seen a, a great difference in, inside of me. I just think it's awesome and it's really, it really has helped. I've been coming for the last six months and I've just been blessed get rid of the insecurities, how to use the power of faith to, to, to determine positivity. So that these are the main things I enjoy about the church. Always going to be battles, always going to have problems that you're going to face, always. But at the same time, there's always God there to help you. Some of my friends that I brought here have seen the change in me and now they want to start coming as well. And I want more because there's always more that you can change. There's always more that you can achieve in life. So as long as there's more, I'm going for it. If anybody's there and is feeling like they want to speak to someone, they want support, this place is the best place. And I, I, I can only say that 
give it a try, come, that they will receive the help they need. That there always is a solution. Everyone spends so much time of their lives looking for things, going for different methods of help, and a lot of people they don't find none, but there always is help. So literally, before you think you've tried everything, you've got to try. I think God brings me here. Yeah. Be inspired with Bishop Alvaro. Share the link facebook.com forward slash UCKG UK or libertyradio.co.uk. So before the 21 days, I was someone who had a void inside of me. I was someone who was actually very lonely, even though I would try things to make myself appear as if I was a very busy person or a very active person, but really deep down inside I was empty. What made me decide to take part of the 21 days is that I actually thought that the lifestyle that I was living of going out and really having this emptiness was not the life that I actually wanted to live and it's not the life that God had for me. So I decided to take this 21 days to show myself that I can actually have joy that, that I keep hearing in the services and, and the meetings. So what I did in the 21 days is that I actually decided to sustain away from conversations or groups of friends and especially the social media like sports. I was really heavily with sports and heavily around peer friends. So I decided to stay away from the friends that actually distracted me and from the sports as well. As a result of the fast, I actually received the Holy Spirit and for me, I saw it myself, my character change, because one thing, I also used to have a bad character at times. Sometimes I wouldn't even realize it. So for me, I saw my character change as well. And I, sh and I saw that I had more joy inside of me as well. Okay, so the day that I received the Holy Spirit, I remember it was a Sunday. And on that day, um, I remember that it was a, actually a deliverance meeting and things were going on around me. But I remembered that this was the time for me to actually be focused and focused on God and focused on receiving the Holy Spirit. So that's what I did. I seeked God and there in the meeting, I received the Holy Spirit. Um, my relationship with my family, my relationship with others was, is much more um, different because I'm not as maybe as harsh as I used to be or sometimes I'm more understanding than I, that I wasn't before. So for me, it's the joy that's also inside of me, but the, my mindset as well changed. Now that um, I took part of the 21 days, I'm actually a happy person. I feel more joy inside of me and the joy that I have, I just want to share it with others as well. Inspired with Bishop Alvaro. The program is starting in two minutes. Share the link facebook.com forward slash UCKG UK or libertyradio.co.uk. May God bless you all abundantly in the name of Jesus. We are here at the Cenacle in Jerusalem, the place where the Holy Spirit was poured out for the first time ever. They were all assembled together in one place when the prophecy of the Lord Jesus, the prophecy first given to the prophets of the Old Testament and confirmed by Jesus himself that he would not leave us orphans, but he would send us another counselor, another comforter, the helper, the Holy Spirit. On this place, on that day, the Holy Spirit came upon those who were hungry and thirsty for His presence. And this is what is going to happen this Sunday, the 3rd of September, where in all the universal churches all over the world, people of all nations will be together seeking the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. If you have been taking part of this fast, the fast of Daniel, if you have been dedicating yourself, yes, throughout these 21 days, if you believe in the fulfillment of the promise, I'm sure the promise will be fulfilled in your life. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit and your life will never be the same. From this place, we will be ministering the outpouring of the Holy Spirit over your life. May God bless you all 
in the name of Jesus. Be inspired with Bishop Alvaro. The program is about to start. Get ready. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. A very good evening to all of you. Today is Monday and the 15th day of the 21 days fast of Daniel. We are now on the last week of the 21 days and we are preparing ourselves for the special day. You have just heard the announcement from Bishop Jean Paul and Sunday, 10 a.m. sharp, straight from Israel. Bishops will be stretching out their hands and ministering the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It's going to be a remarkable day. And I want to make a prayer now together with you, asking God to bless this day, this Sunday. Please join me in this moment. Our Lord, our Father, in the name of Jesus, Right now, as we agreed, we start this program determining that this Sunday will be an unforgettable day, a remarkable day. All those present here in our church will experience the outpouring of your Spirit in their lives. Many will be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Many will be renewed, revived. We determine no one will enter our churches this Sunday will live in the same way. And right now, we use our authority and we rebuke all evil spirits who are working against our plans, forces of darkness trying to impede people from coming to church. You are tied up right now. In the name of Jesus, we break your power. We determine this Sunday will be a blessing for all of us. And you who agree, say, Amen. Get ready and don't forget that we're going to be starting our service at 9.30 a.m. We're going to be taking part of the Lord's Supper in the beginning of the service. And straight after, we're going to get ready to connect with Israel. We're going to have a live broadcasting straight from the Senacle, the upper room, the place where the disciples were baptized in the Holy Spirit. And by faith, what happened there on that place, more than 2,000 years ago, will happen here in our church. All of us will experience God like never before. Let's continue inviting people to come, send messages to people, continue calling them. Yes, the house of God will be filled with souls and no one will live in the same way. Let's listen to a testimony together now. And please share the link of the program with everyone. Let everyone know that our program has just begun. We'll be right back. So before the 21 days, I was consistently anxious. After a family member passed away who was very close to me, um, I was consistently thinking of death. And everywhere I'll go, I'll just think, oh, when am I going to die? Am I going to die today? I'll think of the worst case scenarios. And that led me to having insomnia as well. So I was sleepless. I will go on days without eating as well. And it was really bad for my health. And I even developed anemia. So I decided to take part of the 21 days because I wanted to become closer to God. And I no longer wanted to feel the way I was feeling. I decided to, um, to fast and pray more often. I started to come to the church more often as well. And even though I was still scared of evangelizing, because I felt like when I went there, I didn't know what I was going to talk to the people about, but I forced myself to because I wanted God to, to have an opportunity to still use me and for him to see that I was really trying. In order for me to detox myself from all the things that were making me feel that way, I cut off all social media. I left it to the side. I even cut off a few friends as well, friends that were adding anything to my life. So even family members, those who were kind of um, saying negative things about me, I kind of had to cut them off because 
that time I just wanted to hear God's voice and that was one of the ways for me to hear his voice is by cutting the things that were, were adding negativity onto me. And um, I started to meditate more on the Bible. Um, I also started to, to create every offering that I gave onto God, I gave my all as well. So I even decided to gather offerings onto God to give to him, to show him how much I wanted to become closer to him. One day I was in my room and I was just talking to God. I was just sharing to God about how much I loved the work of God and how much I wanted it to, to grow. And I started to kind of just share to God how I saw his work and God gave me his Holy Spirit. And that from that day onwards, I've never been the same again. I am a happy person now. I no longer feel um, anxious. I don't feel depressed and I no longer think of death consistently. In fact, it's completely opposite. Now I can smile, I can walk without consistently thinking of death or anything that is negative. And even when negativity comes, I'm able to brush it off and I'm completely different now. <laughs>
have to decide on what you're going to do for a living. How many people make bad choices in their love life and consequently they suffer a lot. When you have the Holy Spirit, He will guide you. Look how important it is to prioritize the baptism in the Holy Spirit. You may be in church, you may have many needs, you may have many problems. Maybe you are fighting in order to overcome problems. But as you can see here, many of the problems that you are facing in life, they were recurrent from a bad choice that you have made in life. And this bad choice was made because of the absence of the Holy Spirit. So what is the intelligent conclusion? Once you have the Holy Spirit, He is going to guide you. You are going to make the right choices in life. You definitely take the right turn in life. And consequently, you are going to succeed in your finances, career, health, in all the areas of your life. You living in this world without the Holy Spirit is the same as being in a forest. Imagine you are in the jungle and you don't have a compass with you. You don't know where it's north, south. You don't know where it's east, west. And you begin guessing, you know, just trying. Say, oh, let me see here. I'm going to turn left here. Let's see where this path will lead me to. And it's very dangerous. Doing this is very dangerous because you don't know what is ahead. There may be a trap there. And how many people are falling to traps? They are making bad choices and that's because of the absence of the Holy Spirit. We're going to go for a short break now. And let's continue prioritizing the Holy Spirit. You who have not been baptized, you're going to seek together with me tonight. And let's determine that the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And you who have the Holy Spirit, you have to invest more in your relationship with God. That's what we are doing here for 21 days. And now in this last week, we are not going to slow down in the opposite. We are going to give more of ourselves. Pay close attention now to the announcement from Bishop Jean Paul. And when we come back, we're going to be seeking the Holy Spirit together. Don't go anywhere. May God bless you all abundantly in the name of Jesus. We are here at the Cenacle in Jerusalem, the place where the Holy Spirit was poured out for the first time ever. They were all assembled together in one place when the prophecy of the Lord Jesus, the prophecy first given to the prophets of the Old Testament and confirmed by Jesus himself that he would not leave us orphans, but he would send us another counselor, another comforter, the helper, the Holy Spirit. On this place, on that day, the Holy Spirit came upon those who were hungry and thirsty for His presence. And this is what is going to happen this Sunday, the 3rd of September, where in all the universal churches all over the world, people of all nations will be together seeking the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. If you have been taking part of this fast, the fast of Daniel, if you have been dedicating yourself, yes, throughout these 21 days, if you believe in the fulfillment of the promise, I'm sure the promise will be fulfilled in your life. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit and your life will never be the same. From this place, we will be ministering the outpouring of the Holy Spirit over your life. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus. You're listening to Be Inspired on Liberty Radio. Welcome back. And let's now seek the presence of God together. Please put aside your concerns, your worries, problems, whatever tries to interfere in this moment. And let's elevate our thoughts to God and believe that right now He will renew us, revive us, and baptize those who have not been baptized in the Holy Spirit. This is the time of prayer. Let us now talk with our God in this faith that He is listening to us at every moment. Our 
power, Lord, our Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask you now, Lord, to come and fulfill your promise in the lives of all these people who are doing this fasting with us. All these people who are taking part of this fasting. Honor their faith, my Lord. Fill them with your Spirit. Baptize those who have not been baptized. Come and renew all those who are seeking your presence together with us, my Lord. There where you are, make your place your sanctuary. Pour out your heart there before God and seek Him with all of your heart. Be baptized right now. Believe He fulfills His promise in your life. Receive Him now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. Yes, right now, there is an assurance inside of you. God is there with you. The Holy Spirit is there. He renews you. He revives you. And now, Inside of you, there is a great joy, a desire to worship God. Yes, a desire to express to Him your love, your gratitude, your admiration. So go ahead, worship Him with all of your heart. And as you give more of yourself, you receive more of God in your life. us to prepare ourselves this week my Lord work in us yes our eyes are focused on the 3rd of September this coming Sunday it will be a remarkable day prepare your people Lord your church and use us also to bring many souls to your house in Jesus name amen you are blessed Tomorrow night, we're going to be back here once again at 10 p.m. Join us every night this whole week. We're going to be preparing ourselves for the great day, the 3rd of September. This coming Sunday, it will be the day of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful night, all of you. And I'll leave you once again with the announcement from Bishop Jean Paul. Bye-bye. May God bless you all abundantly in the name of Jesus. We are here at the Cenacle in Jerusalem, the place where the Holy Spirit was poured out for the first time ever. 
they were all assembled together in one place when the prophecy of the Lord Jesus, the prophecy first given to the prophets of the Old Testament and confirmed by Jesus himself that he would not leave us orphans, but he would send us another counselor, another comforter, the helper, the Holy Spirit. On this place, on that day, the Holy Spirit came upon those who were hungry and thirsty for His presence. And this is what is going to happen this Sunday, the 3rd of September, where in all the universal churches all over the world, people of all nations will be together seeking the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. If you have been taking part of this fast, the fast of Daniel, if you have been dedicating yourself Yes, throughout these 21 days, if you believe in the fulfillment of the promise, I'm sure the promise will be fulfilled in your life. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit and your life will never be the same. From this place, we will be ministering the outpouring of the Holy Spirit over your life. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Stay tuned, don't miss tomorrow, the 16th day of the Fast of Daniel. Be inspired. Every evening at 10 p.m. here at Liberty Radio, tune in for a motivational talk program, bringing you to inspirational messages and practical advice on different life issues. You can also chat live with the presenter and share any questions during the program on libertyradio.co.uk. Be inspired every day at 10 p.m. on Liberty Radio.